hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Hello my YouTube family, it's your girl Kiana And welcome back to Kiana's Creative Closet So today my loves, just from <laughs> what you see me wearing at the top You know this is a holiday video i'm going to be showing you a couple of ways um, to style pieces um, that you may have in your closet or you may be thinking of picking up for the festive season um hence sequence <laughs> as well as satin pieces and colors of the season um so i'm going to bring you probably about six outfits um, showing you how to style them some of these pieces are brand new just came in some of the pieces are old from my closet some of the pieces are even thrifted, so I'm happy to be giving you this video um, with different different choices that you can make. If you do want to pick things up from the thrift store, they do have a section where you can find more festive pieces, as well as a lot of these stores are having sales on um, all things holiday. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this video. Most of the pieces that I'm going to be showing you are definitely going to be party wear. Well, all of the pieces I'm going to be showing you are going to be party wear. These are more dressed up looks. They're not anything that you would just wear if you're going to the mall or if you're going to kind of like a laid back casual family function. This is something you definitely will wear to your office Christmas parties, to your New Year's, um, to your New Year's parties, um, if you and your boo or your significant other are going out to a nice fancy um, dinner during the um, New Year's, a lot of people go out on New Year's Eve. I'm not sure if that's going to be um, what we can do this year, but um, still, you know, some of the restaurants in different areas are open. So, yeah, these are outfits you can also wear to dinner and maybe. Um, drinks while you're watching the bar the ball drop in new york city i'm still not sure if that's going to happen this year either um but yeah if this is something you're interested in stay tuned for the video but before we jump into it you already know if you are new here and you are just finding my channel please feel free to subscribe down below if you are already subscribed to this channel welcome back my loves and thanks for the continued support all right Okay, loves, this is the first outfit, and I absolutely adore this outfit. Now, I picked this dress up from Eloquy. I picked it up in a sale. I told y'all previously that Eloquy always has a sale. I never buy things full price. And during that sale, they were having certain items um, for certain prices. I think, like, um, they may have had $39 on dresses. It was either that or, like, $50 cents off we know the black friday sale they actually had i think 70 percent off 50 percent off and an extra 20 percent so definitely be on the lookout if you're looking for festive items for the holiday um season and eloquy ships pretty fast so even if you're watching this video today you still have time to pick up items and get them before the new year's because most of the time when you think of sequins and sparkles you, you think of Christmas, but then be, if you're going to Christmas parties, but a lot of those are going to be canceled this year. Um, but New Year's for sure. Even if you're just doing something in your home for a small intimate group of a few of close friends, um, you still want to be festive. And this is a very nice dress. I'm probably not going to be going anywhere New Year's or Christmas, but I definitely will have this in my collection next year. When it's time to go out and spread the town red, honey. Um, but I love this. Um, I'm not sure of the prices. Again, I know I got it on sale for a reasonable price. Um, this is, I think they consider it a mini on the, the site. But to me, it's not really mini. It's not midi. Um, it comes a little bit above my legs. But this is a perfect length. This does have the kind of flowy sleeves. Um, so the sleeves kind of bellow out at the end of the sleeve. Um, I do have it on with these blue pumps, honey. I showed you these in my accessory haul that I did previously, but I love these. These are a Manolo dupe that I found at my local thrift store. So I'm telling you, you can find some gems at the thrift store, but this is the look. 
the heel height is comfortable to wear as though you can get a couple of hours of wear um, I also recommend when you're wearing heels and you're at a function where you're going to be standing for quite a long bit of time to wear gel inserts so I have a little insert that I picked up from Amazon I will um, um, put them in the description box below I have these for all of my pumps because pumps can get to be a little bit uncomfortable it's just a gel um, insole that you put you put your toe in that second toe, the toe next to the big toe, um, you put your toe in through a little hole and then it sits right at the arch of your foot, the gel. So that's perfect. Um, let me show you what accessories I'm wearing. So I just have on these gold earrings. I think I picked these up from Shein, but I may be lying when I say they may have been Target. Um, I do have on, let's see if it's going to focus. This piece of jewelry that I picked up also from my local thrift store. And that one as well that I picked up from my thrift store. But the red one I picked up from the thrift store um, last year. Um, and this one, the um, blinged out kind of Jaguar I picked up recently. But this is the look, honey. Um, I will show you the bag that I will pair with this to bring the colors in. So I would definitely pair it with this bag. This is a clutch that I just got recently from Eloquy. This just brings in the color of the shoes with the dress. Red and blue looks lovely together. This is a look for my ladies who don't like all of that glitter and glam, who just wants to look chic, well put together, and still fashion forward. For this is something that I will definitely wear to an office Christmas party. Um, normally, our office we are business casual, so a lot of times people don't come, you know, fully dressed. But during the holidays and when we have the Christmas parties, people dress in their best because that's the time to kind of um, show your personality, show um, what you normally wear or what you're comfortable of wearing outside of work. And then a lot of times with office parties, it gives you, they give you a little bit of wiggle room to kind of um, go against the dress code just a tad bit. Now, I don't mean showing up at work with your breasts is out <laughs> and your ass out by no means, but um, you get to show a little bit more personality. And if your dress is a little bit shorter than what you're used to, I'm sorry, than what they're used to, or if you have maybe a spaghetti strap, you kind of can get away with it. Um, you can also wear something like this if um, you're just going out for a casual um, dinner or maybe just grabbing some drinks at the bar to watch the ball drop. Everyone doesn't go out for fancy events um, during the holiday season or New Year's season. If you're anything like me and my husband, we are home. Um, that's his birthday weekend, so a lot of times we'll rent a nice hotel room, a nice suite, and we'll get a couple of bottles, pop bottles, <laughs> um, and just relax, watch the, the, the festivities on um, TV. And I mean New Year's Eve, if, if I may be exact, not Christmas or anything, New Year's Eve. So this is one of those laid back looks. So this dress, I can't pull this down, um, the blazer down too much because um, I don't have on the right side bra. But this is a spaghetti strap um, satin mini, midi dress that I picked up actually from Target, you guys. Um, and I love this dress. I love it because of the color. If you can see, it's a very rich kind of Christmas tree colored like green. 
it is perfect for the holiday seasons um, I just paired it with this blazer. This blazer is something that I picked up from the thrift store. You definitely would have seen it in a recent, a very recent um, thrift store video where I styled up the pieces. If you haven't checked out my styling portions, um, thrift store portions, please do so. But yes, I got this blazer and I think it has a little bit of a green undertone and I think it blends perfectly with this dress. Even though it's not the same color greens, you don't have to wear the same colors as long as it's in that same family of colors. So, yeah, I think this is perfect. It is oversized. Y'all know that's how I like my blazers. So, perfect for me. I have the arms scrunched up. Um, yeah. And then I paired it with these boots. You have seen these boots a million times. I picked these up last season from Eloquy. Um, and they are just gorgeous eloquy has something similar it's not exact um, but they do have something similar if you're looking for that i will link it below but these boots they're a snake skin but they're more of a grainy so it has like a um kind of like um what color green kind of like that pistachio a little darker um, type of green and cream running through out with a little tan so it's not your average black and white snake skin or tan and brown or cream and brown snake skin it's more of a muted green tone so that matches perfectly I just have on gold jewelry a dainty necklace that you probably will see throughout this video I'm probably not going to change the necklace out um, the ring this is a ring that I picked up um, actually I think I got this from my neighbor she sells jewelry um, I think I picked that up from her either the her or um, what is that she in and then I just kept on the same bracelet that I shown you in the last clip and this is the purse that I will actually wear with the outfit so the purse ties in everything the cream and the boot to the green um, tones throughout so yeah this is perfect now if you don't have to have this type of purse any type of cream or off-white top handle clutch um, even if you want to wear something a little bit different if you want to go for maybe a little bit of sparkle in your accessories by all means you can pick up maybe a gold glittery or, or um, satin print type of clutch and that would be pretty too um, you can also go with um, a more of a statement jewelry to make it look a little bit more fancy or if this is a little too casual for your holiday events but this is the look another glitz and glam look I absolutely love this look as well I think it's very very pretty I actually brought this dress to on my birthday to wear for my birthday I did not on my birthday I brought it to wear for my birthday and this is another eloquy piece um so this is old but it has never been worn because you know we were in the mix of things on my birthday so we didn't um I did I celebrated but I celebrated you know just in the house with my family with my husband and my child um, but I love this the colors are beautiful so this is for someone who's not scared to play on colors um, y'all know if y'all been watching me for a while I'm just getting into the kind of color type thing so when I first received this dress I wasn't here for it <laughs> like really I wasn't here for it um, but I waited too late to send it back so I wind up having to keep it now it has actually grown on me so I can't wait to really be able to get back out and wear the dress I think it's just so girly so flirty it is a skater style um, dress so it kind of flares out so it's perfect it looks nice on all figures on apple shapes as well as pear shapes or square shapes a skater style dress looks good on everyone and it's very feminine so this just has um, very light kind of pastel colors running throughout the dress I paired it with the same jewelry I'm not doing too much of switching around the jewelry 
in this video. I do have on these pink Steve Madden um, mules, open back mules that tie around the ankle. I do have these tied in the back for this video, but you can tie them any way you want. Um, you can tie them in the front. You can make bring them up the leg longer. One thing I can say about these, the string is very long. I know some um, places that make type of um, shoes like this that wrap around the ankle the, sh the string be a little short so it's kind of so y'all yeah, my battery went dead but I think I was just letting you know that I did um, keep on the same jewelry I wouldn't do much jewelry with pieces like this because the sequence you already have a lot going on so you definitely don't need a whole bunch of statement pieces but I just love 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 this dress I really love the shoes. The shoes are very, very comfortable. They are probably about a three and a half inch heel, three to three and a half inch. But this is just perfect. To keep it classy and cute, I would definitely wear a clutch. This is a hard um, body kind of like, mat, um, it's not metal, but it's like a silver and gold mix. Um, just a clutch. I picked this up from my local thrift store last year. It does have a chain on it. If you didn't want to wear it as a clutch and you wanted to wear it on your shoulders or as a cross body. So I think this goes perfect with the outfit. <music> another look for my ladies who don't like all those sparkles and glams the sequins um this is very festive um mainly because of the color we all know that red is very big in the christmas the, the november through january months is when you see a lot of red coming out especially around the holiday time um it just makes you feel so festive kind of like mrs kringle you know <laughs> But this is the outfit that I put together. I love this. I feel like a boss in this look. This is something that I wouldn't only wear during the holiday months. I would definitely wear this to a meeting. Um, this is definitely for an office Christmas party or for a um, dinner, a nice fancy um, upscale restaurant that you may be going to with your significant other, like I said in the previous clip. Um, love it. Now, it makes it appropriate for the office because even though... This um, can be considered kind of like a suit. So you can do your mission, mission mix and match pieces when it comes to suits at work. And I, that's what I consider this. It's a blazer that I just paired with a red skirt, um, which what I was about to say, what makes it really office appropriate and not too kind of risque is because I do have on a camel saw under this, which if you can see, it does have a little bit of lace. So it kind of looks like kind of undergarment, but the lace comes up higher on um, the cleavage area so you're not showing too much skin you're just showing maybe a little bit of your neckline um, I know some of the camel soles that we buy nowadays cut are cut a little low so you definitely can't get away with wearing those to the office I never wear those to the office but you definitely can get away with wearing this even though it has a little bit lace it's done very um, appropriate and very um, modestly if, I, if that is a word um, so yeah this is the look so I did pick this skirt up recently from your local um, from my local Target um, I just still saw these skirts in there um, last week when I was in this so I'm pretty sure they're still available I will try to find um, one on Target and link it for you if not you can find these style of skirts anywhere anywhere Eloquy um, she in um, I'm pretty sure Fashion Nova has them um, I think Forever 21 Curry's um, the satin skirts as well now you might not find it in red but you can do it in pink you can do it in gold actually Target had gold and silver as well and I was contemplating on getting the gold but I was like you know I like to wear my slip skirts year round so I just don't know how how often I will wear a gold slip skirt um, after the holiday seasons you know when it comes to spring and summer would I actually pull out that gold 
um, slip skirt. So, yeah. So, this was from Target. Very reasonably priced, if I'm not mistaken. It was $24.99. The blazer is local thrift store fine. And it is a wool blend blazer. It is very, very well made. It is oversized, so I have it belted. Um, this gives it a, a little bit more of an upscale look. It brings that waist in so you can have, you know, um, you know, every woman wants to show a little bit of waist. So snatch that waist in with a belt. This belt is from um, H&M. I just showcased it recently in a previous um, video. I have on the, switch the jewelry up. I'm sorry, I don't have on the same jewelry. I do have on the same necklace. Um, it's twisted a little bit. But I do still have on that same dainty type of belly there necklace. I just put back on the red cuff that I had on, um, I'm sorry, earlier. Still have on the same ring. The only thing I did really switch up was the bracelet. And I did add these earrings here. These earrings are from um, one of the H&M collections that they came out with at the beginning of fall and it is asymmetrical so you have a short one here and then you have a longer one here i love these earrings they are of great quality they are a little heavy so you have to be careful with that if you already have kind of like a drooping earlobe and i also paired it with these pumps y'all would have seen these last year um probably about a year ago i ran it and raved about these shoes but they are a pair of mesh polka dot pumps that I picked up from my local Macy's. I think they are by the brand I and C. And then they do have the bow on the side. So it mimics the, um, what are they? Are they the Christian Dior? I think they're the Christian Dior slingbacks. So they do mimic that. And the bow, for some reason, it just screams to me festive. It makes, makes it, it it's, to me, it just blends very well with holiday season and holiday looks so definitely had to pull that out but you don't have to wear this style of pump or sling back if it's very cold in the area you are in by all means wear you a pair of boots a, a booty or a long boots you can throw on tights with this um i just <laughs> you know i would sacrifice being cold for fashion honey so um i'm gonna go with what looks best with the outfit so even though it's pretty nice today here in my area, but it was freezing last week. I would still go out like this, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. <laughs> Let me show you the purse. I will wear this purse here. This purse is also from my local thrift store. It's just a black kind of clutch. It has, well, it's a purse because it has, it, to me it looks like a clutch, but it looks old school, but it does have the um, gold, um, chain link strap that I do love and you can wear it like this which is very classic very chic or if you are a clutch type girl you can wear it like this and have the chain dangling just a little bit so you can have that little bit of gold in there um, but yeah this is a boss look honey um, I just feel so ladylike, so chic and sophisticated. Okay, y'all, so this is the next look, and I love this look. This look is very simple, straight to the point. You're not doing, you know, it doesn't look like you you were trying to be extra or do extra. This is just something to me that just comes straight to mind. You know, when you're thinking of, oh, I want to look dressed up. I want to look fast, festive. I want to look glam. You think of something like this. A pleated skirt is always good for any woman to have in their closet. It just flows well with everything. You can wear them with blouses. You can wear them with camis. You can wear them with turtlenecks, sweaters, pleated skirts are so good. <laughs> if you don't have a pleated skirt, please go pick up one. It does not have to be in this festive type of color or fabric choice. You can just do it in any fabric of your choice or color of your choice. I found this one at my local thrift store. <laughs> 
and left up on that. I told you guys to look in the thrift store. They always have um, festive type of items during this time time of year. So yeah, pick this up from my local thrift store. And this is kind of like a metallic-y type of gold. It does have a liner inside um, for the top half. I think the liner, the, the slip kind of goes down to your knee. And then it's kind of a little bit see-through under that, which is, I like, you know, I like. Um, so yeah, this is the skirt. Um, I paired it with this kind of, um, what is this, velvet or velour type of camel saw. Um, I just think velour and velvet is just so festive, so lovely around the holiday seasons. Um, I picked this one up, I think, from Target last year. Um, I also threw this blazer over my shoulders. This is also another thrift store find. Um, had this in my closet for quite a bit. Um, I do have on a pair of long knee-high boots. These are my boots from Eloquii. They are over the knee boot. Um, and do, they do have a stiletto heel, but the heel is very comfortable. This is about a three inch heel, maybe a three and a quarter. But Eloquii has some of the most comfortable heels that you can find. You can walk all night um, in their heels, dance your life away. So I would definitely um, have on this style of boot if I were going out to a party where I'm gonna be standing for long periods of time. Now you don't have to wear this blazer over your shoulders like this. I was just being a little extra, honey. Um, you can definitely wear the blazer on. This is kind of oversized. Um, it's just, it's a men's blazer, so it has bigger shoulder pads. It's more structured. Um, so yeah, like that. I always scrunch up my sleeves on my blazers. So I think this is a look. If you um, don't like it this way, you can always kind of bring the blazer in and belt it. That's another look that would be very pretty to have, you know, to cinch in that waist. Or you can also wear it open and just have a belt here um, around the waist. Maybe like a blinged out type of um, embellishment on the buckle would be very, very pretty. Um, but this is definitely just an effortless look. Um, something that someone was saying, oh, telling me at the last minute we're having a party, Christmas party or New Year's Eve party, you know, your husband come through, definitely <laughs> this would be a no-brainer. Um, something I could be like, okay, I can throw that skirt on, put it with a camel saw, throw on a blazer, and we're fine. So, yeah. Now, I want one thing I'm going to say about the Eloquii boots, though. Um, I hate boots like this where um, it's that stretchy material because they keep sliding down, so... A trick that I tell people with this um, is to put on, if you're going to wear it with a dress, um, normally boots that are a little bit roomy, that slouches, they do well with jeans because you have something that it can stick to, but when you have on skirts or dresses, sometimes they droop. So my tip is to wear a pair of um, knee over the knee socks or like a leg warmer or something that gives the boot something to grab onto. Mine's is slouching right now because I did not feel like going back upstairs to get any um, of the two items I just mentioned. Let me show you the purse that I will wear with this. This is the purse that I will wear with this. I just picked this purse up recently from the thrift store. You will would have seen it in my accessory hauls. I think this is very pretty. It's, gives you that vintage type vibe, but I think this outfit gives you kind of like an updated modern um, vintage type of vibe anyway. So yeah, I love this. I think the purse matches well. It brings out more of the gold in the skirt. Being as though this um, skirt is like a gold with black undertone. So yeah, I think the gold just meshes well with it. Um, yeah. So sophisticated. I always say sophisticated. It brings me back to um, when I was a child and we used to um, do that. I um, think it was like a hand game with sophisticated lady. Yeah, that's me. Sophisticated lady, fresh as can be. <laughs> Y'all don't remember that. I'm not sure if it was in um, everybody. You know, if everybody played that game. But with, in the area that I was in, that was the game. I mean, the hand game to play, honey. So, yeah, I just feel put together so girly, so ladylike. <laughs>
is everything. Everything. Everything that your girl stands for. I love this outfit. This dress or shirt or kimono or whatever you want to call it. It's from Eloquy. But when I tell you this is a stunner. I'm not even sure that the camera is doing its justice on how like boom out there it's in your face. I'm like glittering from here to up the street somewhere. <laughs> I love this outfit. This outfit is everything. This is an outfit much rather different than the last outfit I showed you where it was kind of like effortlessly um, kind of like I'm here this is more than I'm here this is strut in the room she has arrived <laughs> oh my gosh y'all I am loving this fit it is gorgeous so this is I think it's considered a dress on the Eloquy site I think they have it listed as a dress I definitely wouldn't wear this as a dress just because it is see-through, you guys. Um, it's see-through, so it, it is embellished everywhere with sequins, so I'm not sure if they think because it is a dark background and it has sequins, like, in certain areas that um, it would justify being see-through, but this is see-through. Now, for my younger girls who's fearless and don't mind showing a little bit of ass, they may be able to wear it like that. It probably, I feel like, even if you did decide to wear this as a dress and maybe wear a, a high-waisted brief, um, not no thong, honey, but a high-waisted brief and a nice lacy bralette with this, a pair of stiletto booties, I think you can get away with it without looking trashy. I'm going to say that again. And y'all know I'm a modest type girl. I don't like showing my ass and having things just flaunting everywhere except for the girls. I, I had a little girl, so here and there. <laughs> but like everything else, no, I want to be covered. So may I dare say that you can get away with it. You can. It wouldn't look too trashy. I, I really don't because I think this shirt just looks so rich so i need to stop saying sophisticated honey so rich and chic that um it wouldn't look too trashy it's just the way um you execute it if you were going to wear it as a dress but for me honey i had to throw on some pants under it because my husband wouldn't be going for it so yeah i threw on these pair of high-waisted pants these are from thrift store. Actually, they are New York and Company brand, but they are from the thrift store. They are the tall, um, a tall. I love to buy tall pants whenever I um, see a site that offers um, kind of like extended sizes or plus sizes and tolls. I'm all over it because I am 5'7", so I'm considered not tall, but, you know, pushing it. So, a lot of these stores um, have, like, short pants, and I'm not here for short pants. I want my pants, especially a wide leg trouser, to hit me to the floor. You know what I mean? I only want to see a, a little peak of the shoe. So, love these pants. They have a cuff at the bottom, and I think it does absolutely well with this outfit. Um, I did pair it with a pair of just basic black pumps you can't see them unless i put my, leg, my lift my pants leg up which that's what i was going for they just a pair of pointy toe um pumps that i picked up from target last season target always comes back out with these every season if you can't find them in store they are always available online um paired it with this gorgeous brooch here and you will have seen that brooch in my accessory haul video. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Um, I did pair it with just a basic pair. Well, not a basic pair of hoops. These are a pair of hoops, but they have kind of like diamond, little rhinestone <laughs> um, embellishment throughout. So it gives it more of a natural basic hoop, kind of more of your dressed up type hoop. But let's see, 
I am loving this now. I did leave this button open, and I know y'all probably like she modest, but she got her bra all showing. <laughs> but that's okay. I think when it's kind of like the holiday festive party type of you know environments or gatherings you are okay with showing a little bit of skin being a little bit sexy and i think this is a kind of um covered up sexy type of outfit so i would definitely wear this with a lacy bralette um again i have clothes everywhere because i'm changing my closet out so i didn't really feel like rambling through anything <laughs> to look for anything you know a lacy camel sole or anything like that so i just you know left it open one thing i can say about this the way the buttons are now this button's all the way down it buttons all the way down majority of the length of the, t the shirt tunic whatever it is it only has maybe um four inches or so of piece at the bottom that's not button but it buttons past your knee what i don't like is that the buttons are too far apart they um are too gaped so even though this fits me perfectly when i button it it looks like it's gathering it's not gathering but you see an opening that makes it look like it's gathering because the buttons are not portion in the right position so that's the only thing i didn't like about this that's why i would not wear this as a dress because you have gaping especially right here just not for me so i would definitely wear it like this with a pair of wide leg trousers everybody is not here for trousers some people are jean type of girls i think wearing it with a pair of black trousers give it more of a dressy look if you are a jeans type of girl wear it with black jeans black jeans will keep it chic and just straightforward it will just still make it look dressed up so you can wear this with a pair of black wide leg jeans or if you decide to wear it with black skinny jeans i would definitely wear this with a knee high black stiletto boot i really wouldn't do um a skinny jeans with the pump because it makes it look a little bit more casual so if you're doing like a wide wide leg black jean or boot cut black jean perfect you can wear it with the pumps but if you're doing a skinny jean please don't wear it with the pumps do it with uh, um, a knee high stiletto booty now if you did want to change this up a little bit and wear it a little bit more casual you can wear it with blue jeans and put on a booty or again a knee high black boot but this is the outfit i don't i'm not going to show you a purse because i don't have one actually that matches this i don't have any black purses with silver hardware other than a book bag <laughs> and i don't have any silver cup clutches all of my clutches are either black with gold or gold clutches so um that makes me think <laughs> your girl about to be shopping again because i'm definitely need something with silver hardware but this is the look Tell me what you think. This is my favorite. So that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you love the items that I shown you today. I really mixed it up by throwing items in there that I picked up from my local thrift store. Just showing you that you can pick up used and secondhand items from your thrift store that will definitely blend in with things you have in your closet for the festive season. Um, I love every piece that I shown you. I'm going to try to go out now and film a couple of the, the looks and probably going to film some more tomorrow if my husband feels up to it. Um, all right, I do want y'all to tell me which to tell me which ones that you like the best in the description box down below. And make sure you thumbs up this video, you guys. Y'all know it helps a sister out. All right, have a good one.